Ned Combs in fourth spot. The veteran Ned Combs hanging right in there. Finished 18th in this race last year. He was second in this race back in 1980. Ricky Bryant is saying that. Ricky Bryant is saying, I wonder how that happened. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta sit down and figure out how exactly this happened. Mackey and uh, Christian Elder have got to catch up there. There's a little bit of space between sixth and seventh. Here is the second pack. Looks like they may be losing ground. Edward Howell still leading the uh, second group of cars. Yeah, they are probably are losing ground. Let's see. Oh, yes, they are. They were about three seconds behind this lead group when I looked a moment ago, and now they're about seven seconds behind. So a little bit slower than the first few cars. Right now, they're eight cars in that lead draft. And the fastest lap last time was turned by the number nine car of Ned Combs, who's running in fourth position. He was the fastest of all, a 163.624. And everybody running just about the same speed in that lead draft. And again, there's the second pack, and here comes the leaders. Now, Ricky Bryant is trying to work his way back to the front, trying to get by Mark King. Couldn't make that pass happen. Bryant is back up to seventh position as Christian Elder has fallen back to eighth once again. There they are with 18 laps completed out of 80 in the Discount Auto Parts 200. It's Robert Huffman leading Randy Humphrey, Johnny Chapman, Ned Combs, B.J. Mackey. Those are your top five. More from Daytona in a moment. Goodies Dash Series Discount Auto Parts 200 underway here at Daytona International Speedway. If you're just joining us, we had a huge crash on the second lap that has eliminated uh, almost 20 cars. There are 27 machines on the track at this time. Some were involved and have been able to get back out on the racetrack. And up front, it is Robert Huffman in hot pursuit. There's a number 93 car of Randy Humphrey. Johnny Chapman in the 77 running third. Didn't Huffman say in our, in our show a couple of days ago that he has never won this dash race here in Daytona, and he's finished second three or four times? He's finished second the last two years and has four second-place finishes in eight races here at Daytona. Jerry? Exactly. You know, and you mentioned he's won three championships as well. He's won three titles in only six years of competing in the NASCAR Goodies Dash. And he talked about finishing second four times. The people in this division are calling him the Dale Earnhardt of the Dash Series. Remember, Earnhardt had to come here 20 times before he finally won the Daytona 500. Huffman said something about this year makes me believe it's my year. But, you know, Earnhardt led a bunch of them to the final lap and then lost them until his 20th try. But Huffman believes today his day. All right, Bob, right now, Robert Huffman, this group of fast cars, his first eight, are about to catch some slower cars. There's, we'll quickly go back to the second pack and see that these four cars have separated themselves from, I think, Angie Wilson has lost the draft here. And Eddie Kelly on the outside of that 40 car seems to be working his way to the front, trying to get in front of this group and lead them to the front. There's Eddie Kelly, and the 28 is another Kelly. Derek. Derek Kelly. Yep. Derek finished 26th here at Daytona last year, and Eddie Kelly finished in sixth position. Now, there we see the leaders as they work their way around these slower cars. There's Scott Weaver, the injured car that banged up car Scott Weaver, and they drive right by with no trouble. But you see Ned Combs, B.J. Mackey lost some ground to the first three trying to get by those slower cars. One of those slower cars is the number two of Scott Weaver who was involved in that big accident on the second lap. He is disabled but still out there on the racetrack. Now the first three cars begin to separate themselves a little bit. Just a few moments ago, coming off the corner, Look at that red car run up on oh, Angie Wilson and Goody Goodell trying to get by Brandon Head as Brandon, the 84, the blue and white car, almost loses it off turn two. Here in the first 22 laps. 
laps of this race. We've only had two leaders so far. Bryant led the first 15 laps, and Huffman has led since then. The second and third place car being teammates, uh, you would think they would try to work together and take the lead, but maybe they're just content to sit here and run in second and third. Down to Bill Weber once again. And Goody Goodell has brought his car to pit road. They're going to go to the right front, pull the sheet metal back. They've got a tire out there, seeing if they need to change it or not. Looking at it. And that looks like their air gun hose has come loose, so they're going to have to reconnect that and then get the tire off and put on the new right front tire. So Goody Goodell losing precious time sitting here on pit road to change a right front tire. Jerry? The, these cars carry eight gallon fuel cells. So if you do the math and you figure they probably can go about uh, 28 to 30 laps on a tank of fuel, meaning they need two pit stops to make it a full day today. Now I talked to Robert up and Scoochie a moment ago, David Flynn. They can go as many as 30 laps prior to their first stop. I checked with the Randy Humphrey team, the car number 93. They're going to wait and see what Huffman does. Whatever Robert does, they will do, and so will the cars behind them. So Robert Huffman is the key. He comes in on lap 28 or 29, and right now they're thinking maybe lap 30 will be when they'll make their first pit stop. This completes lap number 24, so we'll be looking for that in the next few laps. Benny, as I watch these eight, it, I just get the idea that Randy Humphrey could make a move at any moment if he didn't fear getting out of the draft. He really does look like he's a little bit quicker right now than the 37 car, but it's easier to look faster in the draft because that front car is going through the air, leaving that void behind them. Well, they're all running at virtually the same speed, but that last lap, yes, indeed, the 93 car running in second position was the fastest, 163.390, compared with the leaders, 163.336. So just a little bit quicker. Well, as we indicated, we do anticipate pit stops here in the next few moments, so we'll get set for that as we take a break with Robert Huffman leading the Discount Auto Parts 200. We'll be right back. <laughs> 